What's up guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on our main account and we finally have a new gun to do. The UGR or the oof as I'm calling it. But this is a new SMG just added in today at the time I'm recording this. So I'm probably going to be a day late. But I just got done leveling this up in multiplayer so we should be good to go to get this thing Dark Aether. But really quick here is the unlock challenge for it. You need to eliminate a thousand enemies using an epic quality or better SMG, meaning it needs to be purple tier or above. If you completed all the Easter eggs, you should just hop right in with any SMG being purple tier. So that's pretty good for those of you that got that done. And this should probably help me unlock it. But I did go ahead and buy the bundle so I can get ahead and use this gun. I have it level 52 and I still don't have it unlocked for multiplayer. So that tells you how long it takes. But for our loadout here, we're going with the Cobra Red Dot, the KGB Eliminator, the Task Force Barrel, Ember Sighting Point, bruiser grip now for the magazine there's only one option is the explosive fletchlets i don't know what that means but i think i'm gonna have one class with it and one class without because this is explosive rounds and i don't know how it's gonna affect me getting critical kills so I'm gonna have one class with it one class without we'll test them both out I'm gonna have the speed tape on here as well and the spetna stock and our camel progress i have absolutely nothing with it i've done zero kills with this thing we're gonna be getting every single camel with it here today and we'll be seeing how it will do against Orda. And also for our field upgrade, we're using Ring of Fire. And one more thing you guys probably noticed that I'm not using webcam. I'm still sick. I have the big C, but uh, that's not going to stop me from taking out Orda. So let's go ahead, hop in game, and get this thing Dark Aether. All right, here we go. Driving on into Firebase C, and we finally got a gun to do. It's always a good day when there's some new camos to get. Let's go ahead and see what this thing does on round one. Oh. I don't know if that was just because I was shooting through that or if the explosive rounds are actually bad for this. It looks like I got a crit there. Not there though. But it does look like the explosive damage comes back at you. So we're going to need to get PhD here, especially if the zombies start getting close. Oh, free armor round one. We'll take it. And as you can see, we did complete that Easter egg or all the Easter eggs. And we got our weapon purple already here on round two. So every kill we're getting is counting towards unlocking this thing. And I'm excited about it. That way we get to check what the camos look like on not the blueprint version, but the default version as well. Now let's head up through our portal. I don't know if I'm liking these explosive rounds. Let's try switching to the other one. Switch to the no ammo version. That feels a little cleaner for headshots. Let's open this up. Grind the rail with a spin. Ooh, clean. Grab that loose change. And we need like one more kill and we can get this reactor started. And there it is. Get her going. Let's take these guys out. No hitting my reactor, please. Oh, we got double points. Let's hurry up and get this reactor done so we get that bonus points for it. There we go. That should be good. First reactor is complete and we got 2,000 points for it. Let's go. Shut up, Peck. Go ahead, shut your mouth. Ah, idiot. Let's start up this one. There's our stroke camo. First camo of the day. Oh, and back to back with the acidic. And our second reactor is complete. Let's grind the rails. Spin again. That was so weak. One more time. One more time. Eh, didn't hit the rail, but I kept the momentum going. I'm already almost out of ammo with this. This doesn't happen very often in zombies, especially here in Cold War. Usually don't see you run out of ammo, but apparently this thing's max ammo on... The normal mag is 27. What is it on the other one? Still 27, except it's explosive rounds instead. Kind of weird. I wonder how many it's going to get while pack a punch. I'm guessing probably like 50. But its reserve ammo is so low without pack a punch as well. This gun might be a liability. I guess we'll, we'll wait and just see until we get pack a punch. But there's wasteland, 50 crits. Still keeping up relatively. Our, our crits to normal kills ratio. Yeah, it's a lot harder to get crits with this while it's got the explosive rounds in. But we got all our reactors done. So that's cool. Let's see what this thing looks like pack a punch shall we so this is what the looks like with pack a punch i'm gonna just pronounce it like that when i see it but it looks pretty good this is kind of like a preview of what our coverage is gonna look like when we get dark aether on it that's not bad i like that they cover the full mag considering the mag is a huge part of this gun and the coverage on it's pretty good i like it just a awful pack a punch camo now let's see how it does with ring of fire also while pack a punch is called bufo toxin they're boofing this this thing's kind of shredding everything shreds in ring of fire but it's definitely way way better with ring of fire and i was right 56 bullets in the mag when packed but it seems like this drops a heck of a lot more like scrap and equipment like a lot more i've been seeing so much oh well, we got a little bit of time in between these rounds let's try to do our bunny easter egg come here bunny look at me yeah i come to papa please there's zombies coming bunny stop hitting me it's not fair i can't move Oh, wait, I could move. Go ahead, dance. Yeah, let's go. Get it. I get a few crits from you guys as well. Idiots. Buffoons. Take down bunny number two. All right, Mimic, you want to go as well? 
There you go. Okay, what I'm not liking about these explosive rounds is it seems to like stagger the zombies. Like if it goes off on a zombie, they kind of fall over, which makes it very not good for getting crits. So we're getting our forecast camo. Pop this open. Ray K? Nope, we got a Krieg, I think. Yep, we got Jug though. Let's go ahead and switch this blueprint back to the no explosive ammo. I'm not dealing with that. Let's go ahead and grab Deadshot so we can boost our crit damage. You know, it's not going to give us that crazy aim like on controller. Oh, there's our extortion camo. 50 kills while packed and scavenger. We're knocking out a lot of camos here early. It's always so nice when you first hop in a game and there's zero camera progress on a weapon and you just see nothing but nonstop camos pop up until you start reaching like the thousands of kills. Then you have to double everything you've done. Let's go ahead and throw cryo freeze on here. What other perks should we get? Probably get death perception. Oh, uh, well, I guess we don't need it since we're already purple tier. Let's get speed cola. Let me upgrade our armor. Okay, let's get it to two, not quite three. Once we start getting our perks here and maybe even like pack two, I'm going to turn on the rampage inducer and see how it does against uh, some little faster zombies. Oh, there's our sunder camo. Come from a land down sunder. Did I ever got a list change from here? I did not. All right, let's go ahead and get mule kick. That way we don't have to keep buying ammo. There's our contamination camo. We're almost done with our jackrabbits. Are we getting assault rave after this kill? Nope. Wow. Gonna be a late one. All right, give me quick revive just in case. And I guess I'll take death perception. Help me get this thing to gold faster. Oh, there's our glitch camo. Like one more jackrabbit camo and we're done with them. Oh, there's glacier. 250 kills normally. Oh, double points. Bring those here. Oh, there's our amphibian camo. 250 crits. Not bad. And now our jackrabbits are done. There's our assault wave. Let's grab a little perk before we go. Get stamina up. All right. Bring it, zombies. Oh, they're already coming in. Guess what? Crit city. The green tracers on this gun make it look like a power-up's dropping with every time I shoot a zombie. A little misleading. There's our degenerate ca degeneration camo. Oh, the salt wave's already over? What? All right, I think we just have like one or two more perks left to get. I think we just need PhD. Maybe we get that? Oh, wait. Yeah, so PhD, tombstone. Oh, there's our bravado camo. Six special or elite gone and hit a nuke on accident. That's fun. I think once we get enough for pack a bunch two, I'm going to grab that, turn on the rampage inducer, and then we're going to go grind camos and weapons lab. See if it can last in there. Now we can get the order a little faster. No, no going down. Fuck. Shit. I don't know how I'm going down on round 14, but I am. Classic trade of mine. Well, I guess it's going to be a little while longer before we turn that rampage inducer on because now we need to get all of our perks back on top of getting pack a punch two. But I think I'm going to get pack a punch two first. There we go. And this is what it looks like pack a punch two. Very nice. A little green on it. A lot better than that piss color. But for some reason, we lost the coverage on our mag. Maybe if I try switching the blueprint, let's try it with ammo. Okay, so the ammo one does have coverage on the blueprint. And then if we switch back to the no ammo one, it doesn't. That's disappointing. At least we know that. I went down again. Don't ask me how. It might be the explosive ammo, actually. Wait, no, this one doesn't have the explosive ammo on it. I don't know what's happening here. I don't like it. Oh, please, not again. I have no way of getting back up. I'm gonna keep making the same mistakes. I don't learn lessons. Oh, they dropped me a self-revive. Thank you. I don't know if it's still, like, giving self-damage without the ammo. Let's see. Nope, definitely not. The bullets are still right here, though. That's so weird. What? This gun's weird. Strange little gun. Oh, we're getting Mangler spawning in. What's up, Mangler? Oh, you're sleep. Like a little Funkadelic camo on him. Oh, wait, watch this. One more crit. Oh, no, we actually got two. Fuck. We're so close to 420 crits. Everybody get on that decoy for me. We got a couple extra crits. Oh, and I throw down another. Get on the fucking decoy. What? Decoys are annoying as hell. They don't be working sometimes. I see the animation of me throwing it, and then they disappear. That time it worked. Okay, let's get Mule Kick back. Let's get PhD back, just in case we end up switching ammo types. We should probably get this armor upgraded. There we go. Max level. And we're halfway to getting this thing gold. I want this thing maxed out by the time Orta gets here. you think it'd be a lot easier, but I just keep going down. Oh, a little Assault Wave again. We're almost back to the same spot that we were when the first Assault Wave showed up. We're not doing bad, though. 500 crits out of 621 kills. We're still making our way downtown. Walking fast. Faces pass and we're homebound. All right, zombies, bring it here. Come out of here. Guess what? Crit City. Mimic, you're getting some too. Let's wait for me to reload first, though. There's our boutique camo. We're getting pretty close on our special, our elites. And our assault wave is over. Now we just gotta go head back, get the rest of our perks, and then we can start training. I don't even know if I wanna turn on the rampage inducer. I'm kinda scared at this point. We already got messed up twice. I don't know if I wanna make it a third time. Get death perception. Actually, I think we're good. We're probably good to head on over there. And then we'll save up for pack three. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Zombies, relax. 
Actually, since we got all the zombies spawned over here already, we might as well go for these kills. On the decoy for me. Stay together. Makes the crits a lot easier. Yeah. Go down the whole horde. Oh, and then they drop the double points. Would have been nice prior. Oh, great. This mangler wants to come in and destroy our horde. Get him out of here. Uh-oh. Get me out of here, please. No. Run. Oh, no. Jug saving me and then me dying still. I'm so sick of going down. Well, Joe, why don't you stop going down then? Yeah, great idea. I'm a little rusty on keyboard and mouse now. This is ridiculous. We got to have all of our perks ready for Orta. Now, the, our goal is just to be ready for Orta. This is just awful. Are they like doing more damage today or something? Well, I have been cornering myself. Maybe it's just because I've been in spawn for so long. I'm not usually in spawn this long. But there's no point in making multiple trips. I mean, bringing in the groceries 18 times. There's our grudge camo, 750 kills with it. Only 250 kills with this away. I'm actually unlocking the full version of the weapon. Get meal kick back and death perception back. Might as well get like a Costco card for the wonder fizz. How often I'm visiting it. Oh my God, look at my critical kills. This game's doomed. There's our downfall camo, 750 kills while it's packed. So our pack bunch kills have surpassed our critical kills, which is a shame. We still need PhD. There we go. We're back to all of our perks again. I'm round 24. Uh, can we fully upgrade this? We can. Let's go. All right. As long as we don't lose our perks now, we're ready for Orta whenever he decides to show up. Now we can leave this area. I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, actually, now we need to save up money to get pack three. I can't fight order without pack three. We'll try weapons lab, maybe just for a minute. But I feel like I'm going to go down again in here. But we'll see. Maybe just for like a round or two. Maybe not even this full round. Oh, we got this thing max level. Let's go. Let's throw that down. Mangler, I really need you to leave. Same with all you zombies. Oh, there's our boundary camo. We're finally at 750 crits. Oh, and I'm out of ammo. That's fun. I don't know how I snaked my way out of there, but I did. Okay, we'll try one more round here and then I'm going to Colonel's. I want to risk losing all my points and then not having pack three. You know what? Actually, I'm going to Colonel's right now. I'm scared. All right, I'll say it. I've been down three times already with this gun. Probably not the gun's fault though. That's all on me. So I'm going home. Nice try, Mimic. Oh, there's another Mimic and there's a Mangler. Lots of elites here. We should be done with our elite camos pretty soon if we're already not. Ooh, <laughs> just a wall of yellow text. One of the most beautiful sights you can see when grinding camos. Ooh, and we unlocked it. Let's go. So now we officially have the gun that we're using unlocked. Pretty sick. And we got four rounds to make, what, 7,000 points? Not bad. We can do it. Okay, I got 30,000 points right now. I'm running immediately for Pack-A-Punch. I'm getting it right now before I end up going down and losing the points and perks. Mirror pack three. And this is what pack a punch three looks like on the ugh, pretty nice. I wish that the default magazine for this had camo coverage, though. I don't understand why it wouldn't. I know that there has to be some differentiating factor on whether or not somebody has explosive or non-explosive, but I feel like both of them should have the same coverage. Like it's literally the same mag. They already have it mapped out for the coverage. Just come on, put it on here. But just for those of you that are curious, this is what it looks like if there is coverage on the mag. It looks really, really good, actually. I can't wait to see this thing with Dark Aether. Back to Colonel's office we go. Uh-oh, I'm very low on ammo. Let's throw out that decoy. See if we can grab some ammo here. And then jump back through the window. Swindle all the zombies, get on another decoy. Big brain plays over here. That's all we do. I think we have a stuck mangler. Let's go unstick him. Hey, buddy. Follow the map again. Yeah. I'll take care of that. I really want to use my ring of fire right now. I know Orta's about to show up. And I'm not going to give Orta the satisfaction of not getting destroyed by a ring of fire plus this gun. But I am going to throw a decoy. So there seems to be a lot of elites this round. We're making it through with crits to boot. No way the mangler's stuck again. Or is it just a zombie? Mimic, you can leave as well. There we go. I knew I saved it for a good reason. I'm coming, Orta. I'm excited to see what this gun can do because we get two different ammo types to try on them. I'm going to start it out without the explosive rounds and then midway through, I think we'll switch to them and see the, the difference in damage. But I think the last few weapons that come out have absolutely dismantled him. So let's see if the trend continues. Respawn that right here. Oh, I was so close. Come on down, pal. Get ready to get your titty slapped around. Pop the ring of fire. Okay, so it's doing 1,800 and 1,900. 2,000 damage, 2,100. His health is just depleting like crazy. So it maxes out at 2,160. Let's go ahead and switch to the explosive ammo type and see what it does here. Not nearly as much. So if you're fighting Orda, definitely, definitely do not use the explosive ammo. Use the normal type because this absolutely destroys them. The other kind does not. That's huge. I'm glad I made two different 
weapon mods of this weapon. Otherwise, I would have been extremely disappointed coming in with only the explosive bullets and getting less crits and doing like zero damage to Orda. That would have been real bad. But sucks for Orda. I came prepared per usual. And he's critting. 2,400 to his crit spot. You guys get out of here. And Orda, I got a little something for you. A little trick shot. Woo, get out of here, bitch. All right, so yeah, definitely if you're going against Orda, you're bringing this thing in a fire base, or if you're just bringing in zombies in general, I would say to not have the explosive ammo mod on here. It might be golden, good at multiplayer. Definitely not good here in zombies. It did 140 damage to them compared to the base 1600 of without the explosive damage. So leave the explosives at home. Oh, there's our bloodshed camo, 1500 kills. Our pack a punch kills got to be close behind it. And then crits right behind those. We got to get another thousand kills before we see another just normal kill camo here. This is the part I was talking about where the camo starts to slow down. And this mangler keeps getting stuck. That's so interesting. It feels like every time they add in some sort of different like ammo mod, it works well in multiplayer, but then in zombies, they nerf it into the ground immediately. 140 damage. That's just mind boggling how low. Why even have them in there? Just say, hey, don't use these in zombies. There's no point. Oh, there's our drench camo. 1500 kills while it's packed. Go to the decoy. Fuck off. Stop hitting me. No, what are you doing? Why does zombie ignore the decoy? Fucker. All right, well, there goes uh, most of my perks. Let's probably get out of here. I think that's probably smart, especially with no armor. Yeah, let's pop this bad boy open. Oh, there's our threshold camo. Probably have 1,500 crits with this thing. I need to buy back all my perks, even tombstone. I think it's probably about time I get elemental pop as well. I don't want to make this trip again. Let's also repair the armor. All right, and now we're good to get back to grinding here. This might be a little slower getting these crits. If uh, any ammo mods start to go off, it's going to be a lot faster in the long run if I'm not going down. No way, you're still getting stuck over here every round. Mangler, spawn somewhere new. I feel like I have not gotten a critical kill on a Mimic in so long. It's like I can shoot them exactly where I know the critical spot is. I'll get the yellow text pop up for every shot that I hit them with. But then when I go, when I actually get the kill, it just says Mimic elimination. Where's the Mimic's crit spot? I'm pretty sure it's the upper lip, right? Shoot the upper lip, all yellow, all yellow, all yellow. And then mimic elimination. Not a critical elimination, just an elimination. Have they made it impossible to get crits on mimics? Or am I shooting the wrong spot? Is it a glitch? What's going on here? Look, I'm gonna try right here. I'm gonna shoot the bottom of his mouth. Yeah, see, still no like crit kill. What is it, his eyeballs? And then this one will do the top of his head. Nope, still no crits. I feel like it's impossible to get a, crit a critical kill on a Mimic now. Something changed. It's impossible to go around without this fuck getting stuck. I'm not your step, bro. Now let's try this again. Right in the mouth. Nothing. This is a problem. Yeah, they don't exist. They're gone. They've been removed from the game. Ooh, and we got Order again. Too bad we just used our Ring of Fire. All right, we have one Mimic to ourselves. Let's test it real quick. Look, you see the yellow pop up? For each hit we're doing to it, meaning that we're hitting it in a critical spot. And then no critical kill. The second to last shot there was not in the crit spot, but the final shot was. And that's what matters. Still no crit. Absolutely absurd. Anyways, what's up, Orda? Time to get fucked up. Hold on, Orda. I gotta reload. I'll be right with you. This thing does not do as much without Ring of Fire, which is like basically every gun, but it's not awful without it. It just has a very low mag capacity, making it very slow to kill him. Oh, I gotta drop down and get ammo. Where's the ammo box at? Oh no, he's critting. He would crit when, I want, when I'm not ready. You little fuck. Okay, we have a Ring of Fire now. Orda, it's time to go night-night. Goodbye. Go to bed. See you later. Maybe crit again, because I missed that first one. Oh, yeah, he's sleeping. He's gone. Everybody say bye, Orda. Thanks for coming. And he is out of here. Let's go. Oh, what's up, Mimic? You want to come over here and not give me a crit? Like a fucking asshole. All these zombies give me crits. Why can't you? And we have completed this assault wave. Time to go back to Colonel's office. Uh oh, out of ammo again. Decoy's up. Go to the roof. Let me out. They actually have me pinned here. Nade, go. Please, fast. Oh, jump out the window. Big Sean. Eight health, six health, one health. Fuck. Uh-oh. I don't have a self-revive. I'm spawning all the way over here with no ammo. Oh, I guess they gave me ammo now. That's pretty cool. I think we only have our stuck mangler left. So that's pretty lucky. What's unlucky 
is how that fire damage lasted for so long. Okay, so first thing we're going to do while we have one zombie left is buy our self revive because I did not know we didn't have one. Probably should be more aware of those things. Grab Chuck since it's right here. Let's make our way back to spawn and get the rest of our perks back. We've gone down a lot with this gun. Most of it's just my fault. That fire damage right there was bullshit. I'll tell you what. Let's get everything back and we're chilling. Oh, we should probably get armor too. That might help out. Mangler, watch your fucking manners, dude. I'm out of here. This thing's a little tough to uh, hold its ground up there in Colonel's office at round 40, but I feel like most guns have a difficult time just them on their own holding it down on round 40 up there. So honestly, not that bad. Just kind of feels worse because I've been playing like dog shit today. Have we gotten our rotten camo yet? We have gotten a lot of kills with nades this game, so I don't think our eliminations is that close to our actual kills with this gun anymore. I feel like we should have a rotten camo by now. I'm glad we didn't do the rampage inducer today. Uh, my deaths would be doubled. I would have 10 downs. The game would probably be over, actually. This would be my second game in. Oh, there's our rotten camo. I was just talking about you. So that means our pack a bunch of camos right after it, hopefully. Nope, I'm going to die. Let's kill this guy while he's stuck here. Mid round. Oh, we don't have to deal with that guy later. We can go back to chilling in here. Unless there's a mimic, but then he gets brain rotted. Oh, there's our chemical camo. All done with pack-a-punch kills. All that's left is our crits. We're about 400, 300 away. I'm going to die. Holy shit. Out the window. I need some armor. I have an idea. Throwing a decoy down right here. Grabbing the ammo or the armor, whatever it's called. And I'm running for my life. On the decoy for me, please. Okay, cool. I guess the decoy will just disappear. Plastic decoy problems. Oh, there's gold viper. We finally did it. Let's go. Oof. We finally completed this gun. It's probably taken the longest out of any other weapon I've ever done in this game. I have no idea why. I feel like there's some foul play. Like something's not right with this gun. I should have definitely had this done way earlier. We somehow got a thousand kills over our critical kills. Maybe because we were nading a lot during those, what's it called? Assault wave rounds. That could be it. But also I'm done. Take me out zombies. Get me out of this game. Get me out of here. Let's add another down to the list. Let's check our stats while we're going down. 3,592 eliminations, 2,527 crits, zero revives, seven downs. And I'm about to add another one to it once we enter our tombstone here. Oh, we spawned pretty far away. Mimic. You know what? Let's test our Mimic theory one more time. Can we get a critical kill on a Mimic? See, I'm getting all yellow text. No critical kill. Even though his head has ex exploded. What about you, Mangler? You got something to say about this? Hmm? Anything? Nope. Didn't think so. Seven downs. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and check out the camos on this. Let's go ahead and switch this to the default version of the... Uh, so gold viper on it. Not bad. Let's wait for the texture to load in a little bit. There we go. Hey, that's pretty decent. I like it. This whole middle of the gun is wide open, though. I don't think this is meant to be like this. I think this is... Oh, wait. Why did it flip like that? Come on back. What? I can't hold it like that? All right, well, the, the thing you pull back after you're done reloading, I'm not a gun buff. I don't know what that's called. The slide, maybe? That's supposed to be way further back, I'm pretty sure. And it's just missing a whole texture to the gun. So that's cool. At least the camo coverage on it works. <laughs> now, Plague Diamond, always beautiful. Always got great coverage. You can see the diamonds on the inside of the weapon as well. Very nice looking weapon here. Now for what we all been waiting for. What's Dark Aether look like? This thing's pretty. Oh, it's pretty. That mag is gigantic. Whole lot of space there to show the Dark Aether camo. The whole top of the gun gets covered. Even the little stock, the little baby wire stock gets covered. This thing's nice. Let's go see what it looks like in game with Dark Aether. All right, this is what the Urgh looks like with Dark Aether. This thing is amazing. That whole mag, huge selling point here for me. This camo coverage, beautiful. Also, you know how in game the default mag was not getting pack a bunch camo coverage? This is the default mag right here. Look, I have no attachments on this, zero attachments on it, but it still covers the mag, which is really nice. I, I'm glad they did it like this. I was a little concerned that they wouldn't, and I'd have to have explosive mags on it if I wanted to see the camo, but that does not look like to be the case here. This is a really nice looking weapon. It's pretty decent in zombies. I feel like it's bugged because the whole side of the weapon doesn't seem like the whole model is complete. It's like missing something. Like it's always wide open there. Like I can see into the barrel. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen, but I don't know. I've never seen this gun outside of this game, so maybe it is. And the whole explosive damage to Orda only doing 140 damage. I feel like something's off about this gun, and I just can't quite place it. But with that, 
gonna go ahead and end the video here so if you guys like this you want to see more go and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week uh follow my my twitter please <laughs> i fought some some more twitter followers but uh that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later